golden. Nice. Cock. I mean, cock. I mean, cock. Cock? Cock? I'm leaving this in. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Hello and welcome back to the Tab Doubt Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Argos Gaming, a.k.a. Jacob Scott. I am joined today by my co-host, Off to Bane, a.k.a. Roger. Hey, yo, it's me, the fucking guy. Yo, it's him, the guy, the dude, the only one in the entire group that's playing Elden Ring right now, Uh. which is very sad. I mean, I could play Elden Ring, I just don't want to buy it. Solid. It's so solid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to get into talking about Elden Ring again. uh, So uh, uh, if you're listening to this and just update... I think we said this last week, but uh, Schmidt is not going to be joining us for probably a little while. He started his new job and all that stuff. So once again, it's just going to be Bane and I. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, he, he seems like he's, he's kind of getting his schedule and stuff a little more figured out. So hopefully we'll be able to work something out and he'll be back soon. But for now, it is uh, still Bane and I. Oh, yeah. Elden Ring. Elden Ring. How is it? It's um, Bane, Mr. Elden Ring player. It is 10 out of 10. If you are a fan of the soul series or bloodborne series. I highly recommend this game, similar gameplay. The stories aren't interlocked. If, if anybody was worried about that, it's like, Oh, I I haven't played the first three, anything like that. You don't have to play the first three. It's the whole new story. Um, it's just, it's solid. It's the best game launch we've had in like five fucking years. It's yeah. You're it's ridiculous. Go ahead. Yeah. You, I was gonna say you, you were showing me the other night. It's one, like, a shit ton of awards already and it's only been out for like what a week yep that's crazy like the the uh, we'll see if, uh it, wow we'll post a screenshot of the uh, of the uh the awards that it's won already on the tabbed out twitter um i know that the, the one i'm thinking of in particular is the one that bane showed me it's gotten literally like every single game review like like major game review outlet out there has rated it 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 or five stars or like the ones that rate to 100 there it's like 97 or 98 or 99 it's so good it's it's just so fucking good it's just so well balanced and they 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 put in work on this one and i gotta i gotta give them a round of applause it's just so it's just done the best out of all of them yeah from what i've seen like all the memes and like all of like the well, yeah, the memes basically and all like the tweets and shit. It's always like it's the fucking uh, the meme of the guy slapping the kid on the back of the head. It's like that's how you do a game launch. Yeah. But it was like it's like um, the gaming community is like the the big guy and it's fucking uh, cyberpunk. <laughs> it's just smacking cyberpunk in the back of the head. It's like that's how you do it. That's how you launch a game. I love the uh, the no maidens meme. That's fucking. Oh yeah! Oh dude, it's so that. fucking funny. It's so fucking funny. You are tarnished. I haven't even played the game. Maidenless. <laughs> Doesn't like the first NPC actually like roast you? About yes, he that does. Too? He roasts the hilarious. fuck out of you as soon as you That's come out of funny as shit. You come out of the starting area, and he's the first guy standing there. So you're gonna go talk to him. You walk up to him. He's like, "Oh, you are tarnished and maidenless." Maidenless. <laughs> like, it's oh, fucking funny as oh, shit. Oh my fucking soul, man. <laughs> I I want to watch some gameplay footage of it but at the same time i don't know if i do because like i don't know if i'm gonna end up playing it or not i have a feeling no by the time i end up playing it like it's gonna be have been spoiled for me so i might as well watch some footage i know i saw like a thing about markiplier i haven't watched the video but like apparently markiplier played it and it's just like oh yeah like markiplier play plays elden ring this will be interesting i could see some of the gameplay footage and it's literally just him fucking fighting the first boss for an hour yep um, yeah. I finally beat that boss. He's not even a boss. That's just a difficult enemy. That's <laughs> he's, he's not a boss. Uh, well, I mean, he, he I think he counts as a strong uh, enemy or whatever, something like that. They, they have different okay. tiers, but um, yeah, the in in you know, uh, software fashion, they you just as soon as you end the game, there's there's a fucking big ass enemy right there for you to fight. <laughs> you don't you don't have to fight him you can sneak around him because that's what i did i tried like 15 times and he just kept smacking my ass because i was like level one and i was like yeah oh. he's not yeah he's not uh <laughs> you're supposed to come back to this guy and so i did when i had a horse and that made it so much easier oh yeah like yeah. maneuverability around them yes I guess? because he's on a horse oh, okay that makes sense yeah so he's on a horse so he's 
he's fast as shit. His attacks have a huge range. So I was like, okay, once I got my horse and come back, I was like, okay, I can get away from him faster on the horse. So I just did that. Yeah. That's cool. For those of you who are unfamiliar with uh, Elden Ring and haven't heard us talk about the game fucking, you know, every single episode, uh, <laughs> it is, uh, it's made by the same people who made the Dark Souls series as well as Bloodborne, which I mean, I think Bane kind of mentioned at the beginning, but just wanted to get that in case anybody is listening to this and is confused. Uh, the game itself was released last week. We're recording Friday. this on February 28th. So it was really, it was, yeah, it was released on this past Friday. It's Monday currently Monday after the release. Yep. Um, yeah. I mean, I, everything I've seen about it has just been people in like fucking freaking out about how good it is. That's, that's like, that's, that's all I've seen. It's just everybody saying like, Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's such a good game. It's crazy. Like I mean, the, it looks really pretty too. Oh, it is. Oh, the environments they built. Oh my God. Mm. That one snap you sent me, it was like a snap. It was like a photo of like your screen. Yeah. And I was like, even that I was just like, damn, that looks nice. It's like the, like the nicest areas of like new worlds, but like, I'm sure probably higher. Everywhere. Quality. It's literally yeah. every, anywhere you yeah, look, everywhere. there's a, there's a, just a gorgeous Vista. And I'm oh. sure on like super high end PCs, it just looks amazing. Oh, I'm jealous. I want to play it, but. I can't, I can't like make myself do it when I still haven't been playing Dark Souls. <laughs> I need to play it. I was going to stream tonight, but I just, I've been feeling really shitty all day. So I decided not to. If, uh, if you beat Dark Souls three and I, I would, I would say while you still have that combat system in your head, I would move on to Elden Ring because you don't okay. want, because I'm having the difficulty of right now. Cause I have not played a Dark Souls game since like 2000 fucking 16. Um, Fair. So I'm like having to go through that difficulty of relearning and redoing my timing for my parries and remembering how boss mechanics work and shit like that. So I recommend going right into it so that you have it like fresh mind because you just learned it. You're you're hot off the boat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I recommend doing because it, it, it plays really, really similar to Dark Souls 3, but there are big differences. Like you can jump in this one. You can Ooh. jump. You can jump. They added oh jumping. God. Oh my god! <laughs> and horses. That's, they added horses. And horses. There's mounts <laughs> already. Got like two things up on fucking New World. Yeah, Honda Accord. That's what I call it. Honda. <laughs> <laughs> because the the maiden. I'm she, in me <laughs> <laughs> The maiden when she's talking to you, she's like, "I offer you an Accord," and gives <laughs> oh, you the okay. horse. So everybody's like, That's "It's funny. a fucking Honda Accord." <laughs> That's funny. Uh, can you name them like the pet, like the horses? No, uh, it's Torrent. Uh, the horse's name is Torrent. It's yeah, a like that'd a, be so nice if you could. It's like a mythical horned horse, some shit like that. Mm -hmm. There's lore to it. I see that there's uh, I've like I was looking at some uh, gaming news stuff earlier today. I've seen that there's like they're already like releasing mods and shit for the game. Oh, I haven't even looked at the modding community for it yet, but I assume they there, attacked it. Yeah, there's mod. There's like a mod that apparently like uh takes off like the 60 FPS cap. Um, there's a mod that's, uh, I think it said something about like a, it's like a first person mod or some shit. I don't remember what it was. I don't know. First person mod was for, um, Witcher 3. Never mind. I was about to say that would be impossible. <laughs> first person mod on the, on a Dark Souls game sounds hell. That would be like so, <laughs> so fucking bad. Or VR. Oh, oh that would be oh, that so would be cool, fucking bro. cool. Uh, that that's would gotta be, be sick. That's gotta be in the works. That's gotta be happening. Bro, could you imagine playing fucking Dark Souls 3 on VR? Like the first boss, if he like throws you off the fucking map yeah. like in VR, I would, I would have a heart attack. It, I, horrifying. I just imagine like coming out of that fucking, uh, in uh, Elden Ring, coming out of that first location and then walking up to the fucking tree sentinel. You're like, oh, fucking shit, bro. He's, <laughs> he's huge. Oh, yeah. And then Damn. the first demigod boss, because there's, there's like, there's no... Well, there is a linear, a linear playthrough of it that you can kind of follow the waypoints and just go straight through the game. But that's not what they want you to do. They want you to explore because the map is fucking enormous. And exploring yeah. is rewarding <laughs> because not only are you leveling yourself up to make those boss battles easier, but you're also finding like summons and weapons and gear and craftables and shit like that. Like you're, you, they want you so, to, they, yeah, they want you to explore to make those bosses easier. But I know there are psychopaths like my brother who yeah. just straight ran to the first boss and beat it right off the rip. 
just just from the he's insane. I don't understand. I this have, is the same guy who beat Dark Souls three like sixty times or uh, some shit like that. Thirty two, I think he's thirty two times. Thirty two right. times, and um, he's also beat the first and second one. He played Bloodborne. He's he's all about these games, and it's fucking insane. Yeah, he got it uh, the day after I did, and then he messaged me. He's like, "Yo, this game's easy as fuck." I'm like. Maybe to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're fucking insane. Maybe to you, bud, but I am having a very hard time. It's got, hey, bro, it's something to do with the mining, man. He knows. It's like a skill. He just loves he, he's the got grind. That, he's got that, he's got, yeah, he's got that grind mindset where he just like fucking like just bulldozes through any fucking game. There's a... It's um, crazy. They, they added, they're not added, but on the map there is a swamp. And out of PTSD for myself, I am completely avoiding the swamp because... I know how bad it is in three and it's not a very large area, but it's a swamp and a swamp and a dark souls game is a swamp. Yeah. And, and uh, Jill ran right for it. <laughs> he was like, I, that's like half the means I've seen is yeah, like yeah. seeing a swamp in Elden ring. And it's just a bunch. It's like the PTSD fucking like flashbacks of like <laughs> nom and shit like that. That kind of a meme. Oh my God. It's so bad. I haven't been there yet. I've went everywhere around it because uh, I can't beat the first demigod I've tried. I can't fucking do it. I get him down. Closest I've got is I swear to God, this motherfucker had like 400 health. And then he just one tapped me. And I was like, oh, I can't do it Watch again. Watch him have a second health bar. Oh, my God. I'm already, I'm already in second <laughs> phase, bro. If there's two more phases, I'm done. I'm not fucking. <laughs> I can't. I, 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 can't I will play the rest of the game before I get to him. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. But uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, I think that was the thing I saw was uh, Ludwig was playing uh, and he lost something like 400,000 or like 40,000 souls. Runes. Like, or runes, yeah, okay. Maybe it was, maybe he was playing Dark Souls 3 then, because I'm pretty sure the thing I saw said that it was souls that he lost. So maybe, maybe I'm thinking, maybe it was a different game. I, I just remember saying it was like uh, Ludwig was playing either Dark Souls or Elden Ring and he played for an hour straight and lost like 40,000 souls. Just like feels bad. It's fucking horrible. Uh um, horrible? horrible. I heard that I wasn't going to comment yeah. on it. But... <laughs> no, I corrected myself. Uh Swagger Souls is doing a no death run. Yeah, how's that going for him? I haven't watched but I assume pretty terribly. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming he I mean, has he's, already lost that yeah. like, no death thing. So uh, what a no death run is for people who don't know is you start the game and if you die you restart the game. Oh, I actually didn't know that. That's, I thought it was just like he's trying to play it without dying ever. No, no, that's, that's... a no death run. Is is you oh, okay. is you get as you try to beat the game on one life. Okay. Swagger Swagger's fucking insane. I know people who have done no hit runs. I uh, yeah I, I think I remember we talked about this on the, like the that one Dark Souls like pretty much all Dark Souls podcasts that we had with Miguel yeah sorry <clears throat> I had a burp yeah that's insane my friend fucking... Dylan did it I remember watching I'm... that shit and my friend it's... Dylan is a fucking psychopath uh, he he is like uh, my brother he loves these Dark Soul games and I remember watching him for like an hour or two play it and it's just like it's like watching like an artist like paint. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> yeah. just they're just they're dodging at the the proper moments and backstabbing and their their combat is on point. He did it. He played the Dark Souls three without getting hit. How? I How do you get past the the dragon area with like the fire without getting hit? Or it's all about timing. There? How does that work? It's all about How would that timing. Even work? Because about... like as soon as the fire exists, bro, what the fuck? There's That's just... where I am in Dark Souls three right now. For all of... the listeners who don't know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's still on the high wall. He's died 31 times. Um, I have died 31 times. I only played it one time, to be fair. I'm going to play it again this week. I just, not today, because I'm tired. Um, there was, uh, I was, uh, there's a YouTube, uh, YouTuber anyway, who does random runs of Dark Souls or Bloodborne or anything like that. And I've seen him do, and I'll, I'll try to, uh, I have, I'm subscribed to him. I cannot remember his name at the moment. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll like send you the link or something for it, but he's done like consumable only runs where you only use fire bombs or oh my God. dung or like he's done uh pacifist runs where you, what? how do you do that? 
<laughs> How? Wait, you literally can't get through the like the tutorial without like fighting. But you can. You just run past everything. Fucking what? Like the boss? Like the boss okay. at the end of the tutorial? So there is some way to cheese him off the edge. Are you fucking serious? I'm dead ass. That's I, fucking insane. If I find the video, I'll send it to you. But like he's Oof. done he's done like punch only. I don't know if you know how much a punch does damage, but it's like five damage. Oh god. And he, yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Especially toward the later bosses, that's like nothing. Like you're just hitting them for like fucking four or five hours. That sounds horrible. Why would you do that to yourself? What's they, the point? I, they, I don't they, understand. They that. love the challenge. It's not a challenge at that point. It's just fucking like torture. That's all you're doing. You're torturing yourself. They love the challenge. What the hell, man? That's ridiculous. Well, I want to I'm going to kind of pivot here because I just thought about this. But speaking of fucking torturing yourself, you know who I saw today? <laughs> Good old, good old boy Schmidt. Good old boy Schmidt. He came by today. Um, he he had like a little half day of work, um, and so he came by because he wanted to. He my internet is a lot faster than his by like ten times as much. Uh, so he came by so he could you know hang out and download a game onto his PS4. Uh, and homeboy, homeboy did it. He 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 re-downloaded fucking Destiny Two. <laughs> he he did it. Um, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> he played through. He played through pretty much the entire tutorial while he was here, and then like he had to leave. But it was just like I, I get it. He said he wanted to play it because he wanted to play Witch Queen, and he heard that he's heard that Witch Queen is supposed to be really good. I and to his credit, I have heard the same thing. I have heard that Witch Queen, Jesus, Witch Queen, Witch Cream, is, Witch Queen. <laughs> Witch Queen is is really good. I have heard that from like a lot of different sources, but at the same time, he redownloaded Destiny Two. That enough speaks for itself. I mean, anybody who's been listening to the podcast since the beginning knows how much we all despise what the game has become. Oh god, <laughs> I can't even right now. I don't even know what to say. See, see, the thing is though, the thing is though, don't, don't, don't act like you're, you're in the clear because you earlier today were want, trying to okay. get me to download it too. I'm just trying to play with the homies, okay? That's fair. <laughs> because like I wanted, I'm trying to pick games that are cross plat through all platforms because he doesn't yeah. have a computer. That's why I brought up Warzone. I re-downloaded Warzone. Uh, also, nice, dude. one of my friends wants me to play that with him. I, I work with him, and I'm still oh, yeah. waiting on that. Like I downloaded it and played it for like a day, and I'm like, oh, it's still Warzone. Like I'm, I'm still pretty decent at it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, he hasn't hit me up since I downloaded it. So I was, and then I brought it up to you guys, and I know you're not gonna play it, and I know Schmidt probably doesn't have the space. Um, uh, on his PlayStation. Yeah. No, I doubt it. Yeah. And then uh, I, it, I, I could, I can probably download. I, d I didn't want to download it because like all, all of the experiences that I've had with Warzone were shit. But to be fair, that was on my old laptop and my old laptop could not run the game very well. Whereas now I have like a full blown PC that could probably run it really well. Well, the thing is, I don't think Schmidt would play with us. And he's yeah, true. And we can all play D2 as much as I really don't want to. <laughs> Yeah, it, I also don't own any of the DLC, and I don't like. I don't want to get the DLC. Yeah, I feel that. I don't know. We're gonna have to talk about it as a group. Sit down yes, and figure something out. Well, so he's also um, Sheet is also in the process of. Uh, he's gonna try to get the new like Xbox. What is it? Xbox Series X. Yeah, I think is what it is. So that way we can play some other games together. Hopefully, Halo or sorry, Baylo. Uh, I don't know what the fuck Halo is. Never heard of that before. No, what the hell? Um, <laughs> um but uh, yeah. So hopefully he'll get that, and we'll be able to play more stuff together because you know that is a cross-platform game. Fucking what else we got? Like Sea of Thieves. Um, sea of Thieves nuts fit in your mouth. I was I was gonna say it. I was gonna say it, but uh, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, Sea of Thieves, uh, Apex. I guess. Well, he can play Apex on the PS4. But yeah. Uh, eh. he complains about it not running well. Um, yeah, 
And also, he he said that Warzone doesn't run well on his PlayStation, which I understand. Well, yeah, because they it's a PlayStation Four, so it caps at thirty FPS, which is I think why he's wanting to get like the new console because he'll be able to play sixty FPS games. I mean, I only get like a hundred. Be better. <laughs> only a hundred. I mean, <laughs> that's literally three times what he gets frame rate wise. More than three times what he gets frame rate wise. Oh uh, yeah, and there's there's not a lot of cross plat man, and plus especially with PlayStation. PlayStation is stingy. Like it True. took them forever. Like they were, that was the, when they made Destiny 2 fucking cross plat. I remember um, because Brandon was telling me about it because he's a devout Destiny 2 player. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, they're making PC and Xbox compatible. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then later on down the road, like after they had announced it, then PlayStation was like, hey, well, I guess we'll, you know, join in on that. So like they're, they're like fucking stingy with that cross plat shit, man. Yeah, they are. I don't, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, my my thing with the the PlayStation stuff is that like they have a lot of really good games, like but they're all it's like, kind of like you're saying they're like they're super stingy. Like you know like God of War, like the God of War series, yeah. fucking phenomenal, phenomenal series. I actually am kind of drawing a blank on what other games that they have. Like uh, Horizon so Zero Dawn. Horizon. Yeah, there you go. Um and um, they have a bunch of like well second party to them like uh, Japanese and Chinese made games like that. And I, I personally, oh, yeah. I've just never been a fan of those, but Oh, they got like metal gear solid. And, um, uh, there's another one. Not gears of war. That no was... gears of war is Xbox. Yeah. Mm. I know there was one that there was, there was a couple that Miguel was playing recently. Uh, I think one of them was like a JR, JR, J O R P G or JRPG. I don't know um some japanese game um and there was another game as well the uh oh shit what was it called what was it called what was the game that he played the fucking persona oh oh uh persona 2 or whatever and then um also uh no wait never mind that's also on xbox forget that i was bringing that up i was gonna say (laughs) (laughs) sorry i am uh, it's been a long day for me man um yeah, yeah fucking oh, I'll get into that later. But uh it was um another one of those I I don't know. It's going to rack my brain thinking remember. about it. Yeah, uh, I can remember. He changes he changes games like changes underwear, but uh <laughs> <laughs> He's done that shit to us. He's done that shit to us. He'll be like, he "Hey has. man, you guys want to play Apex?" And we're like, "Yeah, let's get into oh, Apex." Dude. And we play Apex oh. for like a fucking a session and then he's like oh i don't want to play apex anymore mm-hmm, mm-hmm. believe me i know <laughs> he's been doing that since before i met you it's been uh it's a constant thing with him he very much has this habit let's of, play uh, let's play yeah, valorant like, hey, let's for play a game. night let's play this game like this game's really fun let's play it let's play it he'll play it for like two weeks and be like oh i'm gonna get really fucking good at this game and it'll fucking stop and never play it again uh, valorant he did that with a couple times we've done that he's done that to me with smite multiple times uh, yeah, y'all not Vermin getting tied. Me. You're not getting me on that smite shit again, man. That shit. <laughs> I downloaded it just to play with you guys, and then I played like two matches, and then it was never talked about again. And I was like, Yeah, bruh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we well, Miguel and I played Smite pretty consistently for like six months back when I was living in College Station, but that was pretty much like the extent of it. We didn't really play much after that. Oh, we. Yeah. Well, I did just bring up um, Warhammer. So I was going to bring this up. I don't know if you've looked into it much, but you know, have you looked into the new Warhammer game? New Warhammer game? Warhammer 3? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so there was there was two games that came out at the same time. Um, there was a Warhammer 40k game that came out that I actually got. And then the Warhammer. Space Marines one? Yeah, the Space Marines one. That's 40k. And then the uh Warhammer 3 that you're talking about. I have not copped that yet, but I have watched a couple playthroughs of it. Looks phenomenal. They're I, I, the Warhammer lore and their graphics and all that shit. They're just so solid. Where is like in terms of like timeline wise, I'm assuming it's after Vermintide but before 40k? Yes, that yes. So, uh, okay. uh, plain. If it just says how I, how I, this is how I specified. If it just says Warhammer, it is around Vermintide 
around that time period. Like a little bit after. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So and then if it says 40K, that's 40,000, like year 40,000 or some shit like that. Yeah. So um, way, way in the future. Yeah. In the future, space conquering kind of, kind of shit. Yeah. The Imperium of Man. Imperium of Man. So you said you, you got Space Marines. How's that been? It is really good. Um, it's also incredibly hard. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of that going around. A lot, right of, now. A lot of really hard <laughs> games going on. And I'm playing this shit on normal difficulty. Um, Damn. I got, I, now, I'm not saying it's like not beatable, but the mission I'm on right now pissed me off, so I stopped playing it. And I haven't touched <laughs> it in like three or four days. But actually longer than that. God damn, it's been about two weeks. Um, wow. Yeah. Uh, but the mission I'm on right now, I have to get to the other side of the map in four minutes. Right? And okay. so it's a turn-based I'm assuming game. it's a large map. It's a very oh, okay. large map, and it's a turn-based game. So your, your, your mm-hmm. uh, squads can only move so far each turn. Interesting. So it's either I have to, and there's two objectives. There's one objective to get to the other side of the map. And there's another objective at the same time, you have to go flip a switch so that you can get to the other side of the map. Okay. There's a flame barrier there. You can't get there. So I've got to divert my forces, split them in half, send one squad down the middle to basically go die on their way to there. And then another squad or two, to go flip that switch and then try to meet up with the the squad that's slowly dying toward the other side of the map. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I tried it a couple times, couldn't get it, and I'm like, God, fucking damn it! It's three a.m. I got to go to bed. That kind of thing. <laughs> that's fair. So is it like uh, you said it's turn based? Is it like versus AI or is it versus multiplayer? AI. There is multiplayer. Oh, I, I haven't AI. touched the multiplayer, but uh, I'm just doing the campaign through the story. Um, so is it like a third person view of like the players? Like a, like a, you're like a turn base, like you're above. Yeah. It's a top down third person omniscient kind of view. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Kind of like, gotcha, uh, gotcha. kind of like Halo. If you ever played Halo Wars, it's kind of like that. No, I did not. It's kind of like that, but Halo Wars, you had much more versatility. This is, yeah. you get a turn, you can move attack or like a defense kind of thing. So it's, it's, it's very, there's much more rules in place in this. Gotcha. Gotcha. Jeez. I'm having like a lot of burping and hiccuping. Yeah. Same. I'm, I'm, I'm having heartburn real bad right now. Yeah. Oh, let me wash oh, it down with another adult beverage. Drink responsibly. Haha. <laughs> Get it. Oh my God. That was our last episode. That was our last episode <laughs> was drink responsibly. <laughs> Which, if you haven't listened to, by the way, it's on all <laughs> audio platforms and on YouTube. At, it's on Tab at Tab Now Podcast. It's on fucking YouTube. You can see me chug these tall boys. YouTube, it's on fucking YouTube. You can see both of us sitting in this Discord call that we're in right now and talking for an hour. It's mm. super fucking entertaining. My mouse. Definitely check it out. My mouse hovering over Jacob's sweet face and luscious locks. That's what I do from time to time. Oh, I didn't know that you did that. <laughs> I never go through and watch the video all the way. I just crop out like the overlays and then I upload it to YouTube. Oh, wow. With, he, like the, with a thumbnail. <laughs> he does so much work. I do. Oh, it's so, it's so much work. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> fuck you. Um, hey, I mean, I make the thumbnails every week. You, you make the thumbnails. I do make the thumbnails and they they usually turn out pretty well. I, I showed the one, not this one, this last one, because the last one was just you drinking. It was. Uh, it was. It was pretty funny. I liked it. But the one prior, um, like, and I guess I'll like the ones before that, but the, the one prior to this last week's episode, not uh, the EA sucks episode, um, that one, I photoshopped that together and I showed it to one of my roommates and he was just like, oh, it's like, this really cool. And it was just like, he's like, yeah, like you, maybe you should add some like text or something with that to it. It was just like, yeah, but like, it looks like we're in the same room. He's like, right. And he's like, you're not in the same room. He's like, oh, I thought y'all were sitting in the same room. He's like, oh, I photoshopped it. it was, I'm just sneaking into your apartment to record the podcast. Oh my God. Bane's here. Hey, yo. Hey, hey yo. It's the guy. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. It's the guy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, do you? Do we want to get into this uh, some gaming news? Gaming news. I have a couple of topics. Uh, nothing. I, I, as well. I, 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 I proofread too far. You can go ahead then if, uh, okay, if you've okay. already proofread. So I will. Uh, I'll preface this. Uh, today is February twenty eighth. Um, for those of you who 
don't know, which I don't know how you could possibly not know about it right now because it's kind of everywhere. Uh, Russia is currently in the process of taking over the Ukraine or, well, invading the Ukraine. They're trying to take over the country. It's very bad, really unfortunate or, you know, it sucks. But one of the things I was reading about when it comes to gaming news is the one of the things that's happening right now in order to kind of prevent and like try to help alleviate, uh, you know, some of the stress on the Ukraine and uh, push back Russia is there's a lot of sanctions being placed on the country. And that also means all of the tech companies are halting their sales with Russia. So apparently companies like AMD and Intel have stopped officially stopped selling processors to Russia like completely. They're not selling any kind of like CPUs to Russia at all, or I, I guess GPUs as well with AMD. Damn. They just like stopped doing them. Yeah. I was reading that on the gaming news site earlier today. Um, as well, obviously, this week, this past week, we had Elden Ring release. It's fucking doing insane in terms of reviews. Um, and then I also have, we had the Steam Deck launch, which just happened. Oh. Um, the, uh, it's the early release, so it's not like a full, like, published launch where you can, like, go to a store and buy it. Uh, as of right now, you can only buy it if you're on, like, the pre-order list. Um, from what I've seen... There are, there's mixed reviews. Uh, one review I saw from The Verge, a guy did a review of it. He said, I have two things to say about it. One, it's fucking awesome and I really, really like it. Two, it's buggy as shit and they need to fix it. <laughs> so it sounds like it's going to be a really interesting, like, uh, a device to use and that, like, it apparently it plays really well. I mean, it, it, like, has, like, processing power. It can play fucking, like, The Witcher and shit on yeah. it, which is insane. Uh, but apparently it's super buggy and there's still, you know, there, there's, there's things they need to fix because, you know, in classic valve style, they released a fucking buggy device. <laughs> oh, classic valve, classic valve. Um, was that all you had? Um, that and, uh, kind of stuff that we already mentioned. We had, um, oh, well, oh, there's lost Ark, which we kind of talked about in the last podcast. Um, uh, but lost Ark has still been, you know, super popular, uh, has been kind of thrown under the rug though, because unfortunately for people who created Lost Ark, Elden Ring came out fucking a week and a half later. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's not getting a whole lot of attention right now. But then the other thing I had was the Warhammer 3 release and then the announcement, and I just put this there because I know I've seen a shit ton of memes about it. Uh, but the announcement of the uh, Nintendo switch sports, uh, like, you know, did you ever play Wii sports? Yeah. Back in the day, yeah. So Nintendo Switch Sports has been announced. It's coming oh, out in April. God. Apparently, it looks like it's going to be like very similar to the original one. So, I, can, I can already see I all hope. the uh, I can see all the soccer moms. I'm working out and fucking playing Wii bowling <laughs> or oh, Nintendo God. Switch bowling. Nintendo Switch bowling, yeah. Oh man, bro, the Wii, Wii Sports was the shit though. I am. That shit was so much fun. I am goaded at Wii bowling. Yo, right. so am I, bro. There I'll is fucking one v one me be we bowling, man. bro. There is a <laughs> there is a certain if you don't know it, you're not a real fucking gamer. There is a certain wrist flick you do right mm-hmm. before you release the ball. You will get a strike every single fucking time. There's a certain position as well. Exactly, you go all the way to the right between the two dots, and then you swing back and twist to the left. As you release it, it strikes almost every time. Nice. Almost every single time. Me and my older brother figured that out back in the day when we played that game. Nice. I'm high key excited for, for Wii Sports or for Nintendo Switch Sports. Probably more than I should be, but I just have a lot of good memories when it comes to Wii Sports. So I figured nice. I'd add that in there as well. Um, so I've just got a couple of things on PCGamer.com. If you want to read more about these topics, you can go on PCGamer.com and read these. PCGamer.com. PCGamer.com. Because not you know, sponsored. Not sponsored. God, <laughs> no damn. affiliation. Hey, you want to you want to sponsor us? That'd be fucking yeah. nice. This is where I get most of my gaming news. It's a reliable source. Um, Lenovo <laughs> announces their new ThinkPad and IdeaPad gaming lineup. Ooh. More uh, more gaming laptops coming onto the market soon. If you're looking uh, for one of those, I want to pick up one of these Lenovo's. Ooh, um, Lenovo's guys get some some good stuff. Yeah, for fucking really good shit, bro. Um, RimWorld is officially banned in Australia. <laughs> what is RimWorld? Uh, RimWorld is um, I haven't played it, but I've watched playthroughs of it or play. It's not really a playthrough. There's no real end of it. 
but it's just kind of like a survival game essentially okay okay it's a it's an interesting name um uh, let's see here uh what uh, also in the news on here is also that 60 fps unlock that you talked about earlier oh yeah yeah, yeah. i think we might be looking at the same site for, we might be for, for our gaming news um the uh, if you actually went and purchased the gta trilogy like a clown um <laughs> the remaster is getting a patch to fix all the buggy <laughs> textures because you know your game is looking way too round um <laughs> and here's something uh world of tanks studio fires creative director who voiced the uh su- who voiced support for russia's invasion of the ukraine <laughs> yeah i saw that too that's it that's oh man uh that's so bad there's a lot of shit going on like that right now apparently like there's a lot of like uh people who have been either like caught like having some kind of affiliation with them or just like publicly saying it's like oh you know like i think it's all right that they're doing this and it's just like they're losing their jobs it's like there's so much shit it's fucking horrible um Ah, it's crazy and uh you know how you know schmidt's getting back into destiny 2 and of course destiny 2 uh had to make uh, the headlines uh today of all days eight hours ago um bungie is looking in in quotes looking into the brutal grind for the wellspring drops the the new (laughs) <laughs> the new DLC is already having problems. Of course it is. <laughs> who would have? Of course guessed? it is. Who who would have fucking thought? That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, also tonight, the Elden Ring servers for maintenance are going down, but that doesn't really affect any of this because this is coming out on Thursday. Um, that's about it. That's 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 all I got right now. Um, that's all she wrote. That's all. That's all. I mean, there's there's like nine pages of news on PCGamer.com, <laughs> but I'm not going into PC. all of those. I'm just going to give Gamer. you the highlights. Gamer. Gamer Fire really nowhere. <laughs> oh my god, we did uh, it. We did the thing. We did. We did the thing. Uh, yeah. From uh, like, I hate saying this, but going back to Destiny Two, uh, <laughs> Miguel was telling me earlier today that apparently the Witch Queen thing, like the whole like the actual Witch Queen herself is uh, apparently tied into a dlc from the first destiny game he said that there is a guy i forget the name of it uh but there is a guy that you fight in destiny one and his sister is the witch queen yeah yeah savathum yeah it's from the uh oh god what was that dlc called oh no i played it i promise i, I beat uh, i beat oryx um i promise uh, but yeah, it's Oryx's sister. I know, I know who you're talking about. Um, I don't remember what that DLC was called. Dreadnought. I know that was the ship that he was on when you go and fight him. It was on the Dreadnought. I don't remember. The Taken King. The Taken King. There you go. That's what it was. Hey. Yeah. So that and that was that was what uh, one of the reasons why Miguel said that he really wanted to get Destiny Two was uh, again was so he could because he wanted to know like the continuation of that story because apparently this new dlc is con- excuse me is a continuation off of that dlc the taken king it's just Destiny bungie King's just one. milking that shit yeah because <sighs> why wouldn't they but, well because okay so i know in lore oryx is uh one of three siblings um oh. there's oryx savathum which is the witch queen and then there's one other one. I don't remember her name, but it's another sister. Which, which means there's going to be another DLC. Oh, of course there's going to be another DLC. <laughs> and they're not, of course they're not going to like release a Destiny three because no, that's never going to happen. But they're they're just going to fucking throw it on Destiny two in like a couple years just to try to fucking revive it again. Milk it. Milk the fuck out of it for as much money as they possibly can. Beating the dead horse. Hmm. Much like we do every time we talk about Destiny 2 on this uh, podcast. Man, it's, it's a nice, <laughs> it's, it's a good 10 minute segment. It always appears. Yeah, it, it really does. Except for the first podcast. We fucking ranted about Destiny 2 for like fucking 30 minutes. Oh my God, we did. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, flashback to fucking that podcast when Miguel said, I will never play Destiny 2 again. Hey, we are episode 16 and he has it. Here we are, 16 episodes later, and he's coming over to my apartment to download it so he can play it again (laughs) and trying to convince us to get it as well. Oh my Uh, God, the fucking guy. The fucking guy. Uh, 
Well, how was well, we we could, we could, we we we've covered our gaming news. We've covered our D two rant. We've covered uh, the new game, phenomenal. That's going to win every fucking award at the Game Awards that comes out this year. Um, we could we could touch on personal life. How was your day today, Jacob? Absolute ass. <laughs> it was a shit day. I it just did not feel good today. Felt fucking horrible. Uh, yeah. Just not, not doing well. It wasn't a good day. Bane and I got up this morning to record the podcast. This was actually really entertaining. So this morning, well, actually last night we were supposed to record eventually. Um, and Bane messages me around like nine o'clock. Uh, and he's like, hey, we're recording the co- podcast. And I, s- I replied, I'm kind of tired. He's like, okay. <laughs> so I was like, all right, tomorrow morning. He's like, yep. And then I woke up this morning, uh, 6.30. We usually record at 6 a.m., uh, and I was like, oh, I'm late. Shit, Bane's going to be upset. And I pull out my phone, pull up Snapchat, and tap on Bane's name. And as soon as I do, I see Bane's little fucking like bitmoji guy pop up into the chat as well. And I'm like, sorry, I slept through my alarm. We're like, oh, sorry, my alarm wasn't working. And Bane's like, shit, me too. <laughs> we woke up at the same exact time and opened Snapchat at the same exact the same fucking exact time. time. Had the exact same shit happen. <laughs> it was... Bro, bro. Uh, yeah, she single was fucking, single brain, single fucking shared brain cell. This morning it was it was very entertaining, but that was the start of my day. And you know, like we both were like, "All right, let's hop in the call." And then as soon as like we're about to start recording, both of Bane's kids walk out, fucking, yep. you know, like right in the living room. So it's like, "All right, well, we're not gonna be recording now, so we're gonna record tonight." And it's just the day just kind of went downhill from there yep. uh, i did i did have a, actually i did have some good news today uh, i found out from my academic advisor that i am on track to graduate uh next year for from college which is very exciting for me uh i for those of you who don't know i transferred schools uh hey. after my sophomore year advisor i barely know her go ahead that got me off guard. Um, yeah, so I I transferred schools. I, I spent my first year, two years of college at uh, Texas A&M uh, in the engineering program and took a year off, uh, tried, you know, had some like personal stuff I needed to figure out and then ended up transferring to Texas State University. And one of the things that, you know, you kind of worry about when you transfer schools and change majors is uh, that's going to delay my graduation. But in terms of overall school time, looks like it's not going to, so... Uh, I will have been in college for, you know, four years or enrolled in a university for a total of four years by the time I graduate. So very exciting news. Very happy to hear that that's going to, you know, I'm going to be graduating so long as I don't get drafted before. that. Oh, good Lord. That's not going to happen. <laughs> um, but hell yeah, man. We're very proud of you here at the uh, Tabbed Out Studio. The Tabbed Out Studio. Tabbed Out Gaming. The Tabbed Out Gaming Studio. Is yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that was like the one bit of like good news that I got today. The rest of the day was just like shit. I felt horrible. I literally like I felt so shitty and like lethargic. I was like, I was supposed to have a training session with my personal trainer at like five, and I felt so bad that I was just like, no, nah, like I can't, I cannot go to personal training. If I go to a personal training session today, I'm gonna pass out and I'm like gonna hurt myself. Mm. That's how shitty I've been feeling all day. So it hasn't been great, but that's okay. Yeah, well, because uh, I'm going to fucking sleep and then I'll be feeling better tomorrow and it's a new day. Oh, my God. I, after this call, bro, I'm fitting to give my pillow the best head it's ever fucking got. <laughs> Same. That pillow don't know what it's about to get, bro. Same, bro. Because, like, I've, I've been up since fucking 630 and today is my off day. So I was at home with the kids all day until Jasmine got off work at five o'clock. Um, mm. She came home and my god oh we have you know two toddlers essentially you know mason's almost four so he's almost out of that phase but man they are a rough bunch uh <laughs> thomas is two right thomas is two about to be yeah. three the terrible twos bro. terrible twos and plus he's getting his two-year molar so he's teething so he's extra cranky oh no yeah he's oh, he's no. a whole bundle of hell right now um <laughs> and it, Today was just really rough with the little, with the little kids, um, but then you know we had to because you know we're still uh, technically moving out of our apartment. We had to go clean out some other stuff from the apartment, oh. and um, got that done. That should be all set and done. 
And uh, after that, we left there, went to my parents' house because uh, I'm going to take a, a little little bridge off of this story. I am a new truck owner. I bought a new truck on Monday. Oh, that's right. Yes, you I, did. I am a Toyota Tacoma owner, and I only talk about truck things now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the video that you sent me. Bane sent me this video on Snap, and it just says, I only know truck things, or some shit like that. And it just, like, I was sitting there, like, I, th- I forget what I was doing at the time, but I, it fucking sent me. I was fucking laughing my ass off. I don't I know only, why. I thought it was so funny. I only know truck things. And it was like a <laughs> video of me standing beside the bed of my truck. Um, fucking goaded. But but mm-hmm. yeah, I got a new truck. Um, yeah, I, I love it. Um, I absolutely adore it. But I hadn't showed my dad. So we were leaving the apartment. And my, I was called my mom. I'm like, hey, are y'all home? And like, yeah, yeah, we're home. I was like, all right, I'm going to come out there and show dad the new truck while I'm out and about getting shit done today because the next time I'd have time to do it would be Wednesday night. Um, And I really don't want to do anything Wednesday night. So I got that done. (laughs) And then I got home at about uh, 10 o'clock. And um, yeah, I was just gone all day and busy all day. Just really, Mm -hmm. really fucking draining. Yeah, I think uh, it's been it's been, the last couple of weeks. I feel like for everybody, have just been very busy and very like hectic. It's that time of year, I guess. It's like the start of the year. There's always just like a shit ton of stuff going on. I'm in the process of like you know I'm, I'm schools the schools uh, stressful. There's a lot of stuff going on. I got like midterms and shit coming up now, and also you know got registration, trying to get ready for classes for next semester and all this shit plus work, and then there's taxes and there's a yeah. bunch of other shit. So everybody's like super busy. It's been uh, probably a little, a little stressful for everybody, but uh, I'm actually about to get a second job. It should not affect recording time. We should still be good for Monday mornings, um, but it will be when I am off work. So, <laughs> so I am I'm getting a night shift job, and it will become my main job. My job I have currently will become a part time job. I'm probably only going to do like two or three days there a week. Just depends on the the schedule this place gives me, um, but I'm going to use like this the the main job I'm going to do pays much more than <laughs> than my current job. That's good. Um, so that's going to go toward bills and savings and all of that stuff. But my current job at the pizza place, all that money is going to go toward starting my like little pc building side business i'm uh, i wanted to start yeah that's let's I, go that's what i want to fucking do bud um that's awesome there's one thing i know is one thing i was supposed to go to college for is building computers yeah that's awesome that's really cool that's really exciting to hear sounds like you're going to be very busy though working two jobs is uh it's not it's not an easy yep not an easy feat but it's uh still that's exciting i'm supposed to be doing like uh eight hours or so overnight and then depending on the day if it's monday i'll come right home after work and record the podcast with you but if it's like tuesday i'll come home change clothes and go to work at the other job and then come home and go to sleep yes sir yes sir it's all about making that bread is is any way i can You just remind me, I got a, I got a job offer in my email the other day from like Indeed. Um, and I was just like, oh, okay, I'll look into this because Uber's been shit lately. And I was just like, oh, this might be a good idea. You know, I'll, I'll read into it. And I'm like reading the description is just like, oh, it's a delivery job. They want me to do deliveries. And it's like, but needs to be comfortable operating a large cargo van. I'm like, why? Okay, this is interesting. And I keep reading, I keep reading, I keep reading. It says delivering fucking robots <laughs> to these like i guess to like companies like in austin there's i've seen a couple of them before it's like these like i forget what they're called it's like bear or something but it's like these like robots that like you put like food on top of it and mm-hmm. it like takes it to a certain area and then like they pick it up like the like the workers will pick it up and like place it where it needs to go but it's i guess delivering those robots to like different restaurants and stuff that's dope as shit though I thought it'd be cool. I thought it'd be a cool job, but then it was full time, and I can't do full time oh, yeah, full time yeah, job yeah. right now because I'm a full time student. I like, don't. I just wouldn't have time. I would literally like not be able to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> it would just not. It wouldn't work. Yeah, that wouldn't um, work. No. So didn't end up taking that obviously, but 
it's still it's cool it's it's it's, a, it's, it's interesting stuff it's fucking future the future is now yeah that's 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 a really cool like even even like a like a really cool thought because that's that's really it's really neat how shit's advancing around you know mm-hmm. it, it, that area and even my area because i'm starting to notice shit like that too especially like on campus over here even though mtsu isn't even like a, a triple a school they're they're already starting to get into stuff like that yeah oh it's it's super i remember the first time i saw those little fucking robot things because there's like they have these things now at least in in austin um they're like virtual quote-unquote virtual restaurants where it's basically like you show up and there's like a there's just like it's a building with one really big kitchen in the back and like some workers that sit up front and basically like you just place orders to these like quote-unquote kitchens for that like different restaurants like cook different meals and have different menus that are all working in this one building what and yeah and so like the robots like basically like they'll they'll make the meals and then they'll package them and then they put the bag that like the the food is in on top of the robot and like there's a little like touchpad on the robot they touch it and say like oh it's this one it needs to go to this stall and then the robot just fucking fucks off with the food and like brings it to the front desk and like knows exactly where to go and then like it sits there and then like beeps and says like hey like this is this food for this restaurant or whatever and then the workers like take it and put it in a little locker it's, it's fucking cool it's, it's cool like, as shit like fancy like futuristic shit i've only seen that like twice there's like two places i've seen that do that but i have a feeling that they both popped up in the past like year so i have a feeling that we're gonna see more of that soon I ain't seen no crazy shit like that, but that's pretty fucking neat. It's it's really cool. I'll see uh, at some point if I can find like a photo or something of like those robots that I'm talking about and send it to you. They're pretty fucking cool. So I had a little bit of a scare a couple of days ago. So I, I I literally got a phone call from this place I'm about to go work, right? And it was just them telling me that they've accepted me and shit like that. They're going to send me some onboarding paperwork and all that to fill out. And I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank y'all, thank y'all. And I hang up the phone and I look and I've got a text from the owner of uh, the pizza place that I work at. And not just like the owner, but the owner of like all the locations in Middle Tennessee. Oh God, okay. And all it says is, hey man, I've got a question. And I'm like, oh fuck. (laughs) Am I just like going to get fired like right off the fucking bat? fucking horrifying. And I was like, yeah, bro. Uh, I said, yeah, boss, what can I do for you? And then he sends me like five screenshots, screenshots of Best Buy's website of pre-built PCs, and I was like, "Are you <laughs> fucking serious?" And he was like, "That's fucking funny as shit." He was like, "Which out of these five is the best one?" I'm trying to get one for my son for his birthday, and I was like, "Oh my god, the middle one." <laughs> That's fucking hilarious fucking whack dude i was fucking i was like oh fuck he knows like they they already contacted my uh like past past work history and shit like that (laughs) and he's gonna fucking fire me or some shit (laughs) that's fucking funny though hey that's good though now you now you know you got people that like you could like talk to when you start your computer building business yeah i fucking I'm, I, I'm doing this shit. I'm trying to reach out, touch everybody I can, you know, a little bit, you know, a little touchy touchy, but you know, not <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> interesting way you're putting that. <laughs> not a little creepy way. Um, <laughs> but like, yeah, he, he, you know, he, he's a, a really wealthy man cause he owns like five or six pieces of businesses. Um, yeah. And other shit outside of that. He doesn't just strictly do pizza. Um, and then like I talked to like my supervisors about it and then I'm helping one of my other hourly employees build a computer and then I've helped you build a computer and I've helped mm. uh build my own I'm going to build Joe's I'm going to build Josh's um yeah I'm 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 trying to get that experience out there and I've thought about I know people like if if they're going to comment this on YouTube or in, in uh, who whatever fucking platform has comments now that like oh you should go work at like a pc building place i've tried i've called those places and they just don't pay enough like i yeah. i make i make more making pizzas than i would going to this little office and building computers yeah so it's just not very cost effective even if it is yeah. just for experience yeah a lot of places don't pay a lot like that it's 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 difficult because it's like there's not a lot of there's there's more people building PCs now than there have been like in a very long time, but yeah. it's still not super popular. Like it's not like, geez, it's not like a wide thing that like everybody's doing. It's not like most people will just like buy like a Mac or like a Dell or a Lenovo or whatever, Asus, yeah. HP, whatever. 
Uh, but it's becoming more common, I guess. But yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It's like there's not there's not like the market for it to have like unless you're just unless you own the business yourself. Yeah, which, this is what I, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to at least do it part time. Just trying to like get that. Yeah. I, I wouldn't really call it a portfolio, but just get that experience. Um, um yeah. Yeah, like because like Josh, he um he's about to get his last part, and he's like, "Can I just come over to your house and you build it and like set it up for me?" And I was like, "Yeah, I mean that's fine. I don't mind at all. I mean I I love doing it. So yeah, yeah. Miss, do you have a do you have an, uh, a name? A name? Or actually, do, I don't know if you have a name or not. I guess oh, like, like for the building we'll the the building yeah, the uh, process. Oh no, I haven't even thought about that. Yeah, that's fair gonna have to do all that bro you need you gotta get a name for it you gotta get an llc you gotta do all that shit well, LLCs eventually are expensive. yeah that's that, that, that's like later down the road right now i guess it's just gonna be me building them to yeah. order off of fucking <laughs> on facebook marketplace yeah or fucking facebook shit. marketplace or some shit like ebay or whatever um but yeah i mean that, i guess that'll be the start of it anyway yeah that's fair that's cool you gotta find yourself a supply chain you know, gotta figure out, you know, yeah. where you're gonna get the parts and all that shit. Well, you see, I started like my experience, and I'll fucking go off on a tangent on this for a while, so I'll just wrap this up really quickly. I used to work for a computer building, or not a computer building, a computer server building company. I'm not gonna name their name. Um, but uh, yeah, I used to just sit, and that's what like I guess started my love for it anyway. Was I used to sit not on necessarily on like a what would what would it even be called like a factory line. Like a, uh-huh. I, I wouldn't assembly call it line? that assembly line. Yeah, I wouldn't call it that because it's not like we were assembling like one part, one part, one part. It would they'd give you a drawer of a computer server, and all the parts would be on a cart beside you, and they'd be like, "Hey, put this shit together," and then put it on the thing, and then wheel it away. So I'd just sit there for like ten to twelve hours a night, and essentially just build computers or computer servers, and I just fucking loved it. So you're saying every time Amazon servers go down, it's fucking Bane's fault because he built some shit ass server. No, <laughs> we did. We built uh, servers for Amazon, Google, Facebook, and there was one other company I can't remember the name of. But it's it, it's insane how expensive those server cabinets are. The most expensive oh, yeah. one we had, I think, was for Amazon, and just one of those cabinets was eighty million dollars. Jesus fuck! Just one, one cabinet. Yeah, I and they they have like entire like warehouses full of those things too. That's insane. It's it the it what is insane is the amount of security this place had. I had to, uh, so like say we were going to lunch and I wanted to eat lunch in my car, I'd have to go through metal detectors to make sure I don't have anything in my pockets, and then or on the other side of the metal detector is a lockers. And I have to leave all my shit from my pockets, my phone, keys, anything I had on my person in that locker. And by those metal detectors were armed guards. And I'm not talking like armed with like a pistol or a fucking baton or a fucking shock stick or anything. I'm talking like they had M4s, like Jesus. fully built assault rifles. And uh, I was like, yeah, you know, uh, what, what killed that job for me was the uh, the schedule. It, it was a night shift mm-hmm. job, yeah, and I get that. But they also, you didn't know if you were working 8, 10, or 12 hours when you went into work. You found that out uh, the hour you were supposed to get off. That's, what the fuck? Yeah, it'd be like, you'd be like, hey, that's, it, that's the 8th hour. And be like, oh, well, we're going to have to do like two more. And I'm like, oh, fuck this. That's horrible. Yeah. That's yeah, what no. that's what killed that for me. I was like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to stick around here. I was there for like six months, but yeah. Hey man, I, I, I couldn't have done that for six months. That sounds horrible. It sucked ass, but I you got to do what you got to do. Right away. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Well, uh, we've been going for about an hour here. So if you want to, you can go ahead and go. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Right there. It's already fucking 1 a.m. Almost anyway. Oh, it's 1230. Yeah, I'm tired. And then I, th- I feel like we, we didn't have a whole lot to talk about this week. I mean, we did talk about some some like gaming news and stuff. But, uh, you know, it's been, like I said before, we've all been kind of busy. So there's there's not been a lot of uh, gaming, at least like together as a yeah. group going on. Yeah. Uh, hopefully there will be more of that soon. But, yeah, like I said, it's been very busy. And once again, your cat is very... Very interested in that one couple. Uh, she won't shut the fuck up. She, she I, you might not be able to hear it on the mic, 
and I don't know if it's picking up on my recording, but she is just meow, 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 oh trying to get into the sink now or the cabinets. <laughs> But yeah, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy listening or watching if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, if you did, please feel free to let us know, leave a review, like, comment, wherever it is that you're watching this. Um, and uh, if you haven't already, please please check us out on Twitter. Uh, it's another good way, good way to contact us, especially if you have any suggestions um, on like topics, that kind of stuff you want to hear us talk about. Um, please check that out. All the stuff, all the links to that will be in the description. Uh, Fucking yeah, do it. Uh, we, Podcasts, we, huh? we we fucking know if you click on the page and don't follow. Do. We we, we do. fucking know that. Fifty percent of you who are watching these oh, videos no. aren't subscribed. <laughs> no, uh, no, we won't be those people. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, podcast comes out. I realize that I should probably say this for the people who don't know. Uh, our podcast comes out every thursday at 5 p.m central standard time unless i'm an idiot and forget to upload it and it might come out like a couple hours later um <laughs> and uh video gets posted on same kind of same caveat but video gets posted at 9 a.m central standard time every sunday um uh, following the the episode the audio release yeah so, yeah <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and uh, i guess we'll catch y'all next time bye uh, uh. Ha, ha, ha.